every pointing a wall, you have to be well prepared. Anything over three meters high should have a scaffold. On this occasion, electricity wires have had to be shrouded by the local electricity company responsible for the supply. Ladders have to be fixed to the scaffold. On this occasion, rope has been used. First of all, the brickwork has to be prepared. This means all of the beds and joints in between have to be cut out approximately 15 to 20 millimeters in depth. Protective clothing is a must for this job. A hard hat and boots, gloves, goggles and a mask as well as ear protection. Next, the wall is brushed down to clean out the dust and debris and then is soaked with water. The secret of repointing is to get the sand and cement mix right. A two-in-one mix is used. Two parts sand to one part of cement. As you can see, as Peter smooths out the cement, it is not runny or too stiff or crumbly. The cement is smoothed out on the board in such a way as to form a wedge shape. The point on the wedge helps the pointer to trowel it into the bed or joint without spreading it over the surface of the brick. When you start pointing, the joints are normally done first, then the beds. Don't do too large an area in one go. Do about 10 to 12 joints, then follow on and do the beds to the same area. When you have done a small area, go over it again with your trowel, making the finish smooth and cut off any excess cement with the edge of your trowel. After about 20 minutes, when the cement has gone a little harder, brush off the wall lightly with a soft brush. This finishes off the job and helps make the end result nice and neat. A good job, well done.